our creative week 76 as you saw i started out this week on sunday getting getting the early start <laughs> I really wanted to catch up on all of my photos from August because it was September 2nd and I just wanted to kind of file them all away neatly into my journal so I could start documenting September basically. So I decided to take everything that I had in my pouch that I still needed to document and make a giant spread. Um, now, one of the things I've been really enjoying this month is um, my Shakeology. It's like a nutrition shake um, that I get since I started um, coaching for Beachbody, and I really enjoy it. So I took the pamphlet because I wanted to document that, and I used the imagery in it as a background. So that green smoothie over there I used, and then my favorite flavors are the um, vegan cafe um, it's like a coffee flavor basically and then the tropical strawberry which I'm getting this coming month so really excited about that but those are pictured at the top so I'm going to circle those I don't know if I did that already to be honest I never completed this spread um, but I definitely started it so uh, the back of this pamphlet she is like a bunch of success stories or whatever so of course I wanted to cover those up so I pulled out my um, little box of collage elements from Little Raven Inc. I'm part of her Patreon um, have been for years now um, so I have quite a backlog of things that I've printed and never used from her collage sheets and she made a little 4x4 tip in with the eyes on it just for me because she knows how much I love eyes and she's amazing so I'm finally getting to use it. Uh, so I just put one of her background pieces down with the eye collage over it. I used some washi tape that my lovely pen pal Jamie sent me. Um, and I'm just going to town with some photos. I have a photo of the kitty laying on my um, art journal where I was working on the Bi Bun Lunar class. Then I have, um, I think I have a picture of some pizza that I made. A margarita with a salad because hashtag margarita life uh, I have a picture of me after like the only time that I went to the beach I have a transformation photo that I posted on my fitness profile that's like the most nerve-wracking photo I've ever posted of myself but there's that um, so I put that in there what else do we have? I have a picture of me sitting on one of my cleaning clients' um, decks and reading a book. Uh, so that's on there, and that happened on a Wednesday, so I used a little um, Wednesday journaling spot from Courtney and put that on there. And now I'm just going through other, like my other stuff that I have from Courtney. Um, I even have Halloween elements from last year, like really, Leanne. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I can use those soon, right? Just collaging, I had some pirate themed ephemera, obviously in my pouch because this is my pirate journal. Um, some people got confused. I think the last creative week or the creative week before, um, they thought I was working in a different journal for some reason, but no, this is still my pirate journal. Um, I'm still working on it. I haven't even made it to the mermaid insert yet, so fear not. We're, we're still doing it. Um, I had a lot of issues with trying to decide where I wanted to put these photos. I don't know why. Um, there's the glue that you'll die with it on your finger. A lot of you got a chuckle out of that, but seriously. Uh, it smells amazing though. I don't know. It's like almost fruity kind of. I have to smell it right now. Yeah, it's got like this fruity scent to it. I don't know. It's, it, I don't know. It blows my mind. So, still fiddling with the placement of the photos. Um, I, that photo actually went with the journaling for that day, um, right here. So, I just clicked it on the page, and that's where it's going to stay for now. Uh, I don't really have any room on that page to put it there, but... 
I don't know what else to do. Um, I really wanted it with that that day. So that's, I just paper clipped it there. And we're gonna call it good. Because when I'm looking back through it, it's really not gonna matter, right? So, um, just using my double-sided tape. Um, if you're ever curious what my favorite double-sided tape is, it's linked in the description box below. I buy it in bulk, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I'm just putting this photo down again. I don't know. I feel, I even feel weird putting this photo in my journal. I don't know what it is. Plenty of people post their like photos of themselves and their progress and like blah, blah, but I don't know. It's just so strange for me. Like I have a hard time posting selfies anywhere other than my journal too. It's just, I don't know. It's weird. So, am I the only one that has this issue? Um, so then I decided I put that uh, Star Wars uh, sticker there that is from Miss Moss, um, the store Miss Moss, but the sticker was sent to me by Jamie. But anyway, I'm definitely placing an order with them soon because they came out with, um, what am I trying to say? They came out with like a, the astrological signs like a girl for each sign, so you best believe I'm getting some Scorpio ones. <laughs> so to kind of make me feel more okay with this photo, I guess you could say, um, I decided to doodle a little bit in some pink pen, which didn't quite stand out the way I wanted it to. So then I took out my Dina Wakely acrylic paint and um, painted around the design and just around some of the photos. I also painted over some of the collage to just kind of blend it in. And that is currently where the spread stands. Um, I still need to continue working on it, but that's where that was. So this is Tuesday the 4th, um, and you guys saw these stamps in my haul. Um, from Michael's either last week or the week before. I don't know, all my days run together. But anyway, um, my pen pal Jillian was like, I need those in my life, and will you stamp some for me? And I was like, sure. So I took a bunch of scrap sticker paper that I had in my scrap bin um, before I was smart and ordered, um, you know, label paper for my Etsy. <laughs> labels that actually goes in my printer. Um, I was just using full sheets and then if I only had one order, I would print half of it and then cut that half of the label off and be like, um, what do I do with the other half? So I have a bunch of scrap sticker paper. So anyway, long story short, I cut it all to the size of the envelope I was going to send her and then I just went to town stamping a bunch of all of the animals from this skeleton set on to um, the sticker paper so that I could send it off to her. One of the things I do when I store my stamp sets is I take the plastic sheet and I pull it down off the cardboard on the top. And then I cut the top off so that the cardboard sticks out the top and I can just slide the stamp set into it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it works really well for me. So there we go. Those are all stamped in archival ink for her. She can cut them out, color them, do whatever she wants to do, and they're off. So I finally, finally, um, took my watercolor palette apart. I've been talking about doing this forever, and um, I believe I mentioned it last time too. Um, Art Journal Girl's palette is gorgeous. Um, it makes me drool every time I watch one of her videos and see it. So, I decided to take the tray out of my watercolor palette and put magnets on all of my watercolor pans. I have no idea where this magnet roll came from. Um, somebody must have given it to me. It's just mag magnet with adhesive on it. Um, so I cut it up into little squares and put it on all my pans. And then I actually took a Sharpie and wrote on them the colors because I have 
several different brands and several different sets and some of them have it on there like the Daniel Smith ones that I ordered from Artistic Cat um, have it already written on the pan. The few pans that I have from Rachel Beth Designs have it written on the pan um, but all of my Jane Davenport ones do not. Um, so I went on the Jane Davenport website, looked up the two color sets that I have, which is the Brights palette and the Neutrals palette, and then I just wrote on the side of them what the color name was and what brand um, they came from. I didn't write out Jane Davenport, I just wrote Deity, because, you know, I would have taken forever. So it was a little tricky because as I had painted with my watercolors, the watercolor dripped down onto the sides of the pans um, and a lot of them were super sticky and my hand was like rainbow colored when I was done. Um, you can kind of see it on some of those blue ones there, how it's kind of dripped down the side. Um, but yeah, so I did that and then I kind of arranged them in color families instead of in lines. Cause as you can see, there's like little cubbies um, I know that's probably not what they're called, but to me, they're cubbies, um, on the bottom of the pan. So I just kind of grouped them together. So I grouped my blues together, my reds and pinks together, my yellows and oranges together, and then all of the more neutral colors. I have the greens and turquoises together. And then in the far corner, there are the, um, my metallic ones from Rachel Beth. Um, and then off camera, of course, Leanne, you... <laughs> I took a stencil, um, I believe the stencil is from Jane Davenport, um, and it just has a bunch of squares. So I drew out some squares, excuse me, for swatches. And there aren't as many squares as there are places for pans, but you know, once I get more watercolors, which, you know, we all. We all kind of want some more, you know, you know how that goes. Um, I would just make a new swatch thing anyway because I love swatching things. So there that is. I draw all the ones that I had in there um, and then I just went to town swatching each of them. I didn't write anything on the swatch card because I had gone through the trouble of writing it all in the pan. So if I really want to know, I can just pick up the pan and look. Um, but I had so much fun swatching all of these out. Um, it was just so relaxing and that I just wanted to keep doing it. Like when I was over, I was like, oh, all the swatches are done. <laughs> so yeah, I had had a blast doing that. Um, I realized after doing this that Funny enough, the watercolors I have the least amount of are my favorite colors, which are turquoises and the greens and the blues. Um, I have more reds and oranges than anything, but that's just because um, I buy sets, I think, and, you know, that's what the sets come with. <laughs> but those, um, yeah, those four right there are, are some of my favorites. And so just swatching, swatching, swatching. Um, I think I'm going to do something with that scrap piece of swatch paper. I don't know what yet, um, but we'll, we'll find something to do with it for sure. And then I had bought a single pan of Rachel Beth. I wanted to see how the regular, um, colors were the non-metallic and then when I was looking on her website I saw it was Blue Lagoon I think I'm not sure I don't have it in front of me um, but it was a blue shimmer and I thought it was gonna be a more deep blue and not like a baby blue so I don't know what happened to that it was probably my order error but um, so that was kind of a bummer but it's still pretty and then she sent me a sample of a regular one so that worked out fine um, and they are a little chalky for 
Hello peeps. So it's Friday the 7th and I know I'm, I'm a wild child. It's nine o'clock on a Friday night and I'm putting stickers in my planner. But anyway, um, I got my stickers from Surprise finally. Um, this is like my third, fourth month, I think, um, of having this. I was really hoping they were going to come earlier in the month because I wanted to use them to plan for September, but I think the holiday kind of screwed with that a little bit. But, um, the color theme is pink and green, which kind of goes with my watermelons anyway, so... I think it'll all work out. So I'm just going to kind of go through this with you guys. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, and we're going to see what I can stick in my planner and fill in the holes for the week. So we have, I love that they stuck with the summer theme. That makes me really happy. I love all the drinks guys know that oh this is perfect so me and tequila time i love it love the emoji faces you get those every month kind of wish they'd change those up but oh well those are cantaloupe sticky notes which are cute Ooh, die cuts we don't usually get die cuts drink die cuts i'm loving this month it's right up my oh my god I'm kind of upset that it's red, but I really like that pocket. I use these so often. Ooh. Okay. Two work stickers. And I'm not trying to be like, mm, but who only works twice in a month? You know what I mean? These are cool. These are tabs, I think. A little decorative sheet. R and R. Cool, cool. So let's see what holes we can fill in. Um, I'm not like I didn't really go over those very well. I'm not like sponsored by Surprise Me. They don't. I don't get a discount or anything. I don't have a code for you. I just get the stickers. I bought it. <gasps> Love these. Oh my god, they're sticker flex of fruit. Okay. This is probably like right next to the constellation kit. This is my favorite. I do have to say though, I wasn't a huge fan of the first month that I got this kit, but the next three months that I've gotten it for the summer have been right up my alley. So loving it they get like improve it every time oh my gosh i hope you didn't hear that my stomach just made some really funky noises so i usually put these decorative boxes here which i think i'm going to do and i'm going to see if there's anything i can use one of my emoji faces for because i love them so sunshine on my mind summer forever my sunny sun is always up I think we're going to do summer forever. Forever. Yes. I think it's weird that the foiling is red and not pink. Hi is what this girl is saying. Sorry, I'm like so tired, I like can't even, I can't even make like good commentary for this. <laughs> Sorry, probably wasn't the best time to do this. Let's see. Oh, this day. I went to Hanford, I think. And I'm gonna use my shopping cart. Okay. 
for those of you that don't know, Hannaford is a grocery store. Um, maybe I'm not like in the decorating mood. I don't know. My brain's like not working. I'm going to put this neon tequila time sticker here. Even though I didn't have any tequila. I wish I did. But. What else? Uh, no. This one's my favorite. No. <laughs> Just no. Oh my god. I don't know what TLDR is. I feel like this is me right now. Yeah. That looks good. Cool. And then I'll have more to fill in eventually, of course. So yeah, that probably wasn't super exciting, but you got to to take a look at the little sticker kit and now you'll know what's popping up in my planner all month. Um, thanks for sharing a few moments of my, my Friday night. And that brings us to the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of my amazing patrons for making this video possible. They help support me in my channel so that I can continue creating free content for you. I'm not going to mention this every time, but in case you missed last week's video, I wanted to let you know that if you want even more Creative Week content, you can check out my Patreon page there's extra Creative Week content on the Sundays now. So, really excited about that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. So subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Bye.